Hey, Morgan. Hi. And there's Drew coming down the hill. Um, so we keep showing photos of the key line, but we haven't really described it. And while you guys are laying drip, I was hoping maybe could you just do a quick, like, explain why we're so excited about doing a key line hill? Yeah. Yeah. Um, first and foremost, my excitement comes from nobody is doing this. Um, the key line plow is like, there is an item called the key line plow that's super hard to find because no one knows what it is, but we had machinery that we substituted to do the same thing, which is take like a big metal shank, a big metal. Right. We use the ripper. Yeah. Yeah. And we pull it through the soil to create trenches that are like 15 inches deep on it, a contour that they are completely level so they'll trap the water that runs down the hill and help it infiltrate down into the groundwater and make it accessible to the plants we're trying to grow instead of just running you know downhill into a ditch that we have in front of our next field um and last year you're showing this this whole beautiful hillside but our rows were from the very top where you can see all yeah. the way to the bottom and we had so much trouble keeping the water even because there's a lot of height difference there's right i mean gravity alone was washing everything yeah. down yeah you already kind of can't see them but like here's the remnant of one of these washes where the rainwater has been just washing straight downhill over the surface right and yeah, we want. Yeah, here's another remnant. I mean, it was pretty. It, yeah, it that was. One was yeah. <laughs> and then, a lot of this hay that you see is over potatoes and. Oh yeah, I want to show this. Yeah. Because like, when we were doing the key line, because we're using a level, like some of the rows, like look at this big gap. Some of the rows have a big gap because that's just where how it was level and others the rows are right next to each other so what we basically did i'm trying to look is this one key line here and one there or is it here and here here okay all right so you see these numbers each number is like the space between so we have a key line here just down the hill of the 10 and just uphill of the 10 and so um these hay is where we've covered where we planted potatoes and then in the middle are different crops on each row. We were just looking at scallions and over here we're looking at kohlrabi and yeah. we made marks as we went. Yeah. Oops. And our hay is serving a dual purpose actually because the potatoes want to be hilled up and you can hill up with dirt. You can continue hilling up with straw and that's what we're going to do. So this is our beginning straw but it's going to become more and more over time as the potatoes grow and that's going to also maintain the moisture level at the surface it's it's our first really hot day and you can see that the ground is drying out for the first time this year <laughs> um but underneath the hay i can scrape some back and you'll see moisture right at the surface and that's because of our hay that we have down so not only is it protecting the potatoes from sunlight, but it's helping the watering stay on the plants even more. So with our horizontal rows and our water saving techniques, we're hoping to really cut down on our water use as well. Ever, ever an issue with water on the West Coast. Yeah, this is so exciting. Um, all right, well, unless you're gonna give anything else that you wanna add, I can just come record you again next week. Sounds good. Okay.